event is for one fall with a 10-minute time limit. In the red corner at 232 pounds from Tokyo, Japan, former world's junior heavyweight champion, Hiro Matsuda. And in the blue corner at 236 pounds from Atlanta, Georgia, a former North American heavyweight champion, Mr. Wrestling 2. Bob Roof, this should be a tremendous match. Two veteran grapplers, Mr. Wrestling 2 from Atlanta, Georgia, one of the all-time greats against former holder of the World Championship Junior Heavyweight Division from Tokyo, Hiro Matsuda. Classic battle, Boyd, classic. Neither of these men will make an excuse. Double tough, Hiro Matsuda, man of steel. I'm telling you, the man that he helped break me in the wrestling business, and I mean break me in because in a three short months, I weighed 280, he weighed 210. He beat me up and down every way but loose. But I tell you, I learned. A lot of agility out there. Of course, Mr. Wrestling, too. Anybody that can count to two knows about him because they're always yelling at two, two, two. It's very irritating to me, but I got to hand it to the man. He's got a following, and deservedly so because... He's a winner. So is Hiro Matsuda. That's why this is a classic. Very few promotions will air this kind of match. They only want to put this kind of match into an arena. They don't want the people to see it for free. And I have to hand it to Mid-South Sports because of the fact that I enjoy watching this kind of match myself on television. And uh, Wrestling 2, again, one of the most famous masked men ever to wear a mask. And He's very, very, very protective of that mask. I mean, almost maniacal about it, a fanatic. You touch it, the man just explodes. He's like a hand grenade going off. And uh, the big Ugan has been finding that out. He's been trying for a couple of, couple of weeks to uh, take that mask off, and all he's gotten is a double handful of trouble. Matsuda on the offensive now, using those chops. It's not the, so much the velocity of the chops, it's the location of them. Wrestling coming, uh, wrestling two coming right back. And that looked like, the, those punches looked like they had plenty of velocity. Did you see, first first time Matsuda very deftly sidestepped. He grabbed the leg, wrestling two tried to kick him right off. Matsuda just simply stepped aside. But as he stepped back in, wrestling two saw, felt him coming and got him the second time. Classic battle here. Now Matsuda went for the waist lock. A, a smart man. He felt himself at a disadvantage there because he's right in the way of those big punches. So he chopped him, stunned him, came right out to the side. Now he's back up behind him. This is not an effective hole for very many wrestlers. I don't see many people at Mid-South using this kind of hole, but Matsuda, again, uh, acupuncture, the use of pressure, pressure points is well known throughout China. Japan has been for thousands of years recorded. And the man knows pressure. Again now, look at the location. Chopped him right over the heart. He used to hit me, and I'd think, oh, that's not going to hurt, and I'd find myself sitting down. Very, very effective man. Uh, uh, almost a surgeon in the ring. Uh, he didn't get to be junior world heavyweight champion by accident. If the man weighed 200 pounds, 280 pounds, I'm sure he would have been heavyweight world champion, not junior. And again, I don't seem to, I don't want to seem to be talking so much about Hiro Matsuda, because, but wrestling too is so well known, and Hiro Matsuda hasn't been seen in this area for some time. Man campaigns all over the world. He was telling me about a recent trip to Japan, <clears throat> and he's been on the offensive in this match so far. Wrestling too has countered a few things, but if I was scoring it on points, now there's a counter, and that looked like, a, a, no, he's got his hand. I was thinking if he chopped him, that knee lift, of course, I was surprised that Matsuda was still there for that. He must have stunned him with that punch because it looked like it caught him right between the eyes. Here, Matsuda, very crafty. Wrestling, too, less crafty, more straight, bore in. But quick, agile, very rubbery, flexible, and tough. Now, again, he's combining front face lock with the punch. And he's, I've seen him do this to a lot of people. He managed to put a lot of velocity into that punch almost a corkscrewing action coming from left to right, right into the breadbasket. And it takes something out of you, especially if you're stunned to begin with. When a wrestler's in a stunned condition, it's hard for him to protect himself, to flex those muscles and put up that shield. Look at the resilience of Matsuda now. Right back with those chops. That one would have taken his head right off at the lip. Wrestling two. Ooh, fantastic. 
Unbelievable knee lift. Great match. The speed of bullet, he's on you before you know it with that power knee lift right into you and down one, two, three, the winner, Mr. Rasting, two. We'll be back with